Okay, you have your DJI Spark and you love the thing. You're flying it with your cell phone and you find out that the cell phone loses connectivity with your Spark. So, you go and you buy the DJI Spark remote. You love this thing. You get more control. It's easier to fly. You unlock all the features. It's faster, easier to use the camera, the gimbal, all those good things. But you realize that, again, your cell phone connecting to the remote, sometimes you lose signal between the cell phone and the remote. Even though the remote is talking to the drone with perfect connectivity, your cell phone loses connection with the remote. So you get this cable right here. It's called an OTG cable. On the go cable. This particular cable it connects right here. Right here. It connects right there to the bottom and then you just plug this in into your phone. Now what I like about this particular one I'm about to hook it up for you. It's completely connected. As you see, there's a cable in the back, and on the side, you can just see where it's coming out right here. Looking at this, the cable is not in the way of my hands at all. So not only is the cable connected, which is great, I lose zero connection, which I'll show you that in a second. It's not in my it's not in the way of my hand. Now, they make this cable for this one's for iOS. This one is for an Android. They also make one for it's I believe it's what? It's 11 and a half, 11.4 inches is the length of the cable for a tablet. That's an Android or Apple tablet. Or these are 5.9 inches for either an iPhone or an Android. I've lost zero connectivity with this cable. And the good thing about having the cable, at least on the Android, I don't know how it works on the Apple, you can still have your cell phone connected to the remote and you're still getting your 4G. So in case you're flying over a restricted area, your phone will still let you know that because you're still able to use your 4G and the cable is connected to the remote so everything works perfectly. Let me show you just how easy it is to set it up. Okay, let's turn the spark on. Now let's turn the remote control on. And as you see, I don't have the cell phone plugged in yet. Now I'm going to turn the cell phone on, go into the DJI app. Now I will plug the cell phone in. As soon as I plugged it in, I felt a vibration, allow, and look at just how fast that was. There you go. Ready to fly. Ready to fly. Little update. Look. Ready to go 100%. Okay, let's do some flying and see just how good the cell phone stays connected. Let's take it off. Take off. Okay. Okay, let's put it in sports mode. Let's look at it right now. Don't forget to hit record. It's recording. Now it's in sports mode, so it's going to look a little rocky at first. So we're looking at... How far are we? We are 285 feet away and 57 feet high. Let's go high. Oh, I know 
600 feet away with zero connectivity issue. As you see, I'm a thousand and sixty feet away, zero connectivity loss. Okay, I raised the drone up to 300 feet and I turned around to see just how far I was away. And then I turned back around because I was looking what direction do I want to fly in. I didn't want to fly over any houses or the freeway, so I just decided to continue over the dirt. I actually only flew out to 3,000 feet because again, I was getting close to people. I didn't want to fly over them. As I turned back around, I'm at the second green spot, second grass. So like I said, I'm 3,000 feet away and I had zero signal loss. Now, I know you should be able to go this far, but for me, that was never the case until I got this cable. Before I got the cable, I, I don't know if it's just because of where I live, but I was only able to go roughly a thousand feet. Now, I'm at 3,000 feet. I could have went further, but like I said, I didn't want to fly over anyone's house. I don't want to fly over people. I don't want to fly over the freeway. So, I just said, let me go ahead, turn around, and as I'm coming back, it was just as smooth as going out I'm going to take some pictures. Take some pictures of the mountains. Because of the OTG cable, the video feed that you get from the remote to your cell phone is just flawless. You're always going to be able to get that great picture because you can see exactly what you're taking. The feed is extremely important when you're taking panorama shots. Due to the great connection, now I'm able to do all the features of the Spark. Right here is the drone mode. It records automatically as it flies backward to reveal your location. Now here is the rocket feature. It ascends straight up with the camera pointing directly down right above you so you get a very good view of what's going on. The helix feature is pretty cool. What it does is it flies around whatever you lock onto in the middle of the screen in an upward spiraling motion. Now the active track is the reason I bought the spark. As you can see it is following me while I drive. So when I'm off-roading I will have my own personal camera. Man. But it can also follow you while you're running, walking, biking, surfing, you know, pretty much anything that you're doing. The tap flyer is a very cool feature. All you do is tap the screen in the direction you want the spark to fly, and then you just control the camera. But at any moment, you want to stop the spark or change the direction you can do that just by touching the screen in a different location and then it will fly to that spot this is just me checking out the neighborhood I took this video at 9 o'clock at night so you can see the quality of the camera in the dark because you do not want to have connection issues in the dark. That's why you need the OTG cable. Now that I am 100% connected and I always have control of the spark, I explore a little further. I went up 400 feet to view this waterfall and I actually flew in closer because I have so much control.
Here's the last tip. Always remember, hit the stop record button before you turn your spark off or you will lose all your footage. It's happened to all of us. Don't let it happen to you. If you have a spark and you have a remote, you need the cable. If you have a spark and you don't have the remote, first of all, get the remote, then get the cable. It's just that simple. I will leave links below to where you can get the cable for your Android or iPhone, the tablet for iOS, for iOS or Android. As usual, I appreciate your time. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm sure to get back at you. You guys have a good one.